guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to do some paint pouring for you using the hair dryer, blow some paint around, make a pretty picture, fingers crossed. Uh, this is a continuation from my little mini series on using peachy colors with orange, maybe some gold. I'm not real sure today, but uh, there's the first one from the last video. Super happy with that guy. Um, I'm hoping lightning strikes twice and uh, let's do it again. This time I'm going to go bigger and try it. I misspoke. That's a um, 16 by 20. So today I'm going to do an 18 by 24 and uh, we'll see how that goes. Let me get you down. Hey guys. So I was hoping to do this in one shot with, you know, everything all clean and neat. It's basically a continuation from the last video. This is an 18 by 24 ampersand gesso board. And I knew this and then just forgot. And so let me pass it on to you. If you're gonna spin big things, you gotta remember that the centrifugal force will have the paint fly off around the edges, starts with the edges and works its way out. But what's left in the middle tends to be the thickest part of the paint. And I had a nice little painting going on um, but then once you stop spinning, it all goes back to the middle this way and it all cluttered up and I tried to spin it out and I just ruined the whole thing. So I'm going to start again. So when I blow it out this time, I'm going to make sure I hit that middle pretty good to disperse the paint better. So, hmm, we'll just use this to help paint slide around. We'll put a big old puddle here in the middle like this. I'm hoping to save enough paint. Oh yeah, I got plenty, half a can to save for a third one. And we'll just go again. So I'm gonna change the order up. I'll review the colors again. I'm gonna start with a Utrecht color called Cronacridone Gold. It's this shade here, it's interesting color. We're gonna put that down first. And then follow that up with, let's do Horizon, this little piggy orange color. It looks really good with this Cronacridone gold. I don't know where they get the gold from, but whatevs. And then let's add, this is Golden's Indian Yellow Hue. Last time I had that on the bottom first. And then some golden peach little another piggy color let's do a lot of it because i like it we like it we like it and then i think i want i want golden peach and the horizon to sit on each other like that and then we'll put a little bit of the yellow in the middle for our cell activator have something to sit on some cell activator and we'll begin our adventures in blow drying because I'm finding I really, really like blowing out the edges with the hair dryer. So high fan and low fan, cool air, always, always. I just stopped right there because I hated the blowout. Like I just, I screwed it up. Um, 
I can tell I'm not going to like it. So I'm just going to go again. And stop right there. I'm debating. If I should put some paint in a little like that just to make a little bit of a puddle deeper. That might do the trick, actually. Yeah, too much black. All right. We're just going to go right on top of that real quick. So there's the uh, Carnacridum Gold. Horizon. Indian yellow hue. Golden peach. Just a dab more of the horizon. And a little bit more of the Indian yellow. All right. Sorry about that. Let's try this again. It's running down my finger. Hold on. Calling a mulligan. Golf term for going again. Do over. It's all very orangey goldy. Let's give it a whirl. Hopefully, a lot of that black will come off. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't hard enough of a spin. dramatic. I'm going to let it go for a second because there are definitely spots I see that I want off. Did make for a dramatic piece. Let me try to it. 
a second. If you can't see, just give me one second. I just want to bring things down a little. Oh, yeah, I'm watching the paint run downhill. All right, that's enough. It's so funny. It's not what I wanted, but it's pretty, 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 pretty. I'm just staring. That's one nice thing is uh, with the puppy pool on the floor, I can, you know, tower above it and get a straight on view, which is really nice. And even though this has more black in it than I wanted, it makes for a striking painting. I'm going to give one more spin just to get off a couple little things that are just loitering on the edges and leave it be. I like how um, abstract it is for sure. So where's my favorite corner right here? One corner's catching the very edge of the tarp, but that's okay. I think, did it go off? I think what I wanted went off. Oh, the spinner just wants to keep on going. And that was, oh yeah, nope, everything went off that I wanted off. That's hella dramatic though. That's a winner for me. Um, can you guys see it? Sort of, kind of. Let me, um move it up to my tarp and get you guys down it's uh let's face it that's serendipity like i'm glad i went a second time and fixed the orientation i love how deconstructed it is um but parts of this i surely i had nothing to do with hold on all right back up on my counter it's so funny i don't like it on my counter but now that I know, since I got to like stand above it and stare at it um, straight on. Oh no, I take it back. I do like this. I um, I think I I like messing with the hair dryer and blowing things around more than I do deconstructing it. I love that this doesn't look like a bloom anymore. There's some things I want to fix. I washed my hands, so like this this dot of color right here. So bye bye there and where's the skewer? And there's one, this one is just so interesting to look at the blending and I'm so, so happy. I don't know if it shows up now, but it will. I think this one's gonna be great when it dries, but the, um, the color inspiration for this video and the last video was all based on the color of the peonies in my neighborhood, which is this golden peach. And the golden peach has come out to play in this one. I have a line of paint right here of white. You guys see that? Like, I'm not even gonna mess with that. It's very thin. I can like touch that up with the Posca pen in gold right there. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And I wanna get rid of or at least make this smaller right there. I'm just gonna stab at it a little bit, lift up on it. It's too small for me to use my finger, so. Getting there, just lifting that white up. much smaller maybe one more to go away completely if not i'm gonna leave it alone yeah that's tiny we'll leave that be um is there anything else offensive offensive it's in it insulted me i'm just joking <laughs> um 
these areas here are just amazing. Like the things that hair dryer does to paint is just, I think it's spectacular. It all shredded the paint here, the, the whole background and um, layering that went on here and even here with the, um, this is like the cell activator and it looks like it has a sheen of gold on top of it. This color blending in here plus, um, let's face it, there's no denying the cell work. I see this as this is the top and this is the bottom. Let me look at the other way or, or, or reverse. I don't see this one being horizontal at all. It's definitely got to be hung vertical, I feel. And is there anything else I want to play with? You guys didn't see the, the two fails prior, so like I'm all happy now because um, I cut those out of the video. Yeah, no, I don't want to touch anything. I'm pretty dang happy. Let me um, pop the camera off and get you guys down for a close-up. Okay, guys, let's start down here at the bottom. This is what I'm talking about. Look how cool that is. It's like smoky, right? It's so cool. Just, and of course my camera isn't getting it, maybe a little bit. But the whole thing just glimmers, too. Can you see it? <gasps> there, it's showing up. It's just got this sheen over the whole thing. And then this up here. Love, 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 love. Look at the sparkle and the line work and the layering. Oh, oh. And then the cells all up here in the middle part. Amazing. And I love this, too, how they just fade away. Like, bye. And then this part here too, all smoky. I might like this one better than the last video. We'll see, we'll put them side by side. I'll show you the dry results of both when I'm done here. And let me see, it'll be sideways, but if I go up high, see like that's the bottom of the canvas and that's the top. And so it would be like, Kind of like this. Right? You guys will have to let me know. I'll try to um, hang these on the wall too so you can see it. Oh, my phone's overheating. The flash just went off. Interesting. All right, stay tuned for the dried results. Okay, y'all, here's the dry results of this one. Um... I adore it. I adore it. I adore it. I adore it for multiple reasons. Most of which have to do with my work as with the hair dryer. I think um, was really spot on with this piece and the layering. One of my favorite things, and I hope it conveys on camera, is this area here that looks so three D, doesn't it? Like it's amazing, and the line work and the layers of color i think on this one um is just fantastic this is another one this is on a cradled wood board like here let me show you the sides like see the sides had been taped and um they're really nice this is another one i'm not sure i want to resin it or not because it has like really cool texture you see this in here and i don't want to hide that stuff i think it just adds character to this piece a ton um if i have to compare it to the first one i did from the last video sitters because i said i'd show them that one i really like that one too i do hmm or this one this one just gets the nod for me a little bit more um for the work i did um i think they're both let me do this. Can we see them both now? Yeah, they're both pretty great. I hate saying stuff like that because I, I don't mean it to say it to brag, but um, you know, when you're just happy with um, your ability to create, I guess. I just, oh my gosh, I love that so much. Anyway, let me know your favorites and uh, let me say goodbye. Okay, so am I two for two or is it? I think I am. Um, I'm, 
I think I like, I keep changing my mind every other minute. I think I like the first one better because it's prettier. And without sounding like a snob, I like the second one because it's more avant-garde, like the composition and the layering in my own work with the hair dryer. I don't know why it took me so long to deconstruct things just using the hair dryer, but better late than never, I guess. Anyway, one more to go. Um, this time um, I'm out of the 18 by 24, so I'm gonna switch uh, and do another video on a 20 by 20, and then we can take a look at all three. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I hope you're enjoying your summer. What's up with inflation, man? Six fifty for a box of Cheerios I saw in the grocery store today. About fell over, like insanity. Anyway, I don't want to get political on my channel, but the Cheerios thing just threw me for a loop. <laughs> That's just my little conversation for the day. You guys take care. Peace and love to you all. I'll see you soon. Peace out.